I be trying, you know. My old man always taught me, make it easy on yourself. You're going to put in the hard work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, when they come through this one, I'm hitting them hard. So there you go. There you go. Good shit, good shit, boy. Murph, pump your on. Oh, man, I know you got to wake up a little bit. I cuss. <laughs> That's just, that's just what that is. I cuss like a <laughs> but you know we need to it If they messing up, I'm gonna let them know. If it's trash, I'm gonna let them know it's trash. Yeah, right. Trash cans and trash talk are part of the experience when you train with Josh Hicks. God I'm right. Sounds like, what is it called, an auctioneer? Ah, I got, yeah, I got 500, got 500, can I get it? 600, <laughs> your feet, boy. And Dallas Cowboys running back Ezekiel Elliott uh, they you hitting them. swears by him. It's always fun, we, it's always high energy. I don't think nobody loves football the way I love football. Josh Hicks grew up in South Dallas. His parents, Peter and Rita, are longtime Cowboys fans and run a daycare center in Oak Cliff. <laughs> They made ends meet to send their kids to private school, Trinity Christian in Cedar Hill. What was it like watching him on Friday nights? Oh man, it was a three. At five foot seven, Josh was one of the shortest players on the team, but made up for it with toughness and talent. 35, 40. Leading Trinity to the state finals in 2005. Into the end zone. I can't say I was just a cocky athlete. I knew I was good. But the better he got on the field, the worse he got in the classroom. Got the first down and more. I think I started smoking my junior year in high school. A week before his high school graduation, Josh was arrested for gun possession. The arrest, plus poor grades, forced him to spend a year at prep school in New York, which he turned into a half scholarship from Purdue, a Division I school in the Big Ten. When I got to Purdue, I wasn't going to class from the moment I stepped on there. Bro, I used to smoke weed before going to practice, literally walking to practice. Would you smoke every day? Every day. Before long, Josh was kicked off the Purdue team. He came back to Dallas and turned to the streets. I went to jail for possession charges, selling drugs, selling dope. I had to put him out of my house a couple of times. Uh, it hurt. That was my baby. In January 2013, Josh pled guilty to felony robbery. He was sentenced to five years in prison. He served two and a half. Those two and a half years saved my son's life. Amen, I believe it. Yes, I do. Because had he not gone there, Josh would, would probably be dead today. Probably. He got his head screwed on right, and that's why he's just so successful today at doing what he do. You gotta be in there putting together a plan for when you're getting out. The plan was to return to football in some shape or form. And he was just determined. Josh got a shot playing for the Mesquite Indoor Football League but found his second chance through personal training. You can never catch me doing those crazy movement workouts he does. <laughs> you got out July 1st, 2015. Now six years later, you're training Ezekiel Elliott. <laughs> That's crazy. How? <laughs> <laughs> Super Bowl Lenny came through first. Hicks built a following over time. And last summer, he trained now Super Bowl champion, Fournette. Leonard Fournette. Fournette. She referred me to Jay Hicks and uh, the rest of history. Well, I don't care who you are, you what your name is, and what's behind it. Boom. Ah. When you come train with me, my name behind you now. Ah. <laughs> it thrills me to the highest to see him out there with those guys. Ah. With his work ethic, uh, his personality, the sky's the limit. Take that away from my story. Ah. Sky's the limit. Don't never give up. I take that all day. That's sick. Josh Hicks wants his story to be a lesson for all young athletes. Uh, uh, yeah. When the bidding starts, uh, uh, get this right. Say, uh, dodge the traps, avoid the garbage, and chase your dreams. There's only one Josh Hicks, that's right. In Dallas. That's right. I'm Jonah Javak.